We have here a certificate, one copy of which will be hanging in the medical clinic, and one which goes to the family, and one which our board retains. It's a certificate of appreciation. It says that I, the Fillmore County Hospital Board of Trustees President, am honored to make the following announcement on behalf of the Fillmore County Hospital Board of Trustees on this 26th day of February 2012. In recognition of their many years of dedication, sacrifice, and service to the health and well-being of the people in the Fillmore County region, the Fillmore County Hospital Board of Trustees votes unanimously to officially name our new clinic building at 1840 F Street in the city of Geneva, in the county of Fillmore, and in the state of Nebraska as the Charles F. and Jean F. Ashby Memorial Medical Office Building, awarded this 26th day of February 2012. Our thanks so much to all of the Ashby's. with that, I'll pass this on, because it is getting kind of chilly. I will say one thing, <coughs> Governor, or excuse me, Senator Nelson, when you go back to Washington, please relay to President Obama the success. Fillmore County, you have got the most wonderful medical facility. Use it, love it. If you haven't been through it, you're about to be thrilled. We are all so proud. And I have to say to Paul Udemark, who came here and in, immediately started this campaign. Thank you, without you and your wonderful staff, we would not have this today. Anybody want to get up and do any jumping jacks or anything like that? Or maybe an overhead heater? Um, at this time, I'd like to have Albert Samachik, County Board Chair, come up for the uh, presentation of the hospital license to the hospital board president. I guess, Deb Horty, I guess I want to present this to you so you folks can go to work. And on behalf of the county board, it's my honor to present you with the license to the new hospital so you can go to work. We wish you great success. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone, I thank you all for coming here. I think you all take it the next step further, but please tell everybody involved with this hospital, be they an employee, somebody on a foundation, somebody that's raised money for this, tell them thank you. This is just a great opportunity for our county and it will only go forward. It doesn't stop here. This is where it begins. Now it goes forward. I can promise you there will be more services to come. There will be more people hired as we grow. So enjoy it. I'd like to uh, announce that the following people um, Fillmore County Chair Albert Samachik will be cutting the ribbon, and I'd like to have those in the Fillmore County Hospital Board, President Deb Horty, Fillmore County Hospital Auxiliary President Geraldine Rippey, Fillmore County Hospital Foundation President, PR, that me. Uh, <laughs> I'm that guy. Uh, and all Fillmore County mayors. Do we have any Fillmore County mayors here? I'd like to have all of you come right up here, and we're going to cut the ribbon.
Sorry. For We're that. on the final leg of the mile, folks. And I'm pushing hard. Um, at this time, um, we got the picture taken. Uh, at this time, I'm going to have uh, Pastor William Schweitzer from the United Church of Christ come up for the benediction. And then following the benediction, you're all invited to tour what I consider, it's just unbelievable, folks. When you go through this thing, if you haven't been through it before, you're going to be impressed. Thank you so much. We will do the benediction quickly. Um, it's amazing when you get a Congregationalist to have the last word. <laughs> As the Masons did their thing and we talked about building, it reminded me of a man walking down a country road with an ax thrown over his shoulder. And he met another man who asked, is that a new ax? It sure looks like a good one. It's a good ax. It's been in my family since World War I. Is it really that old? It looks as good as new. Yes, it is as good as new, but there have been times when it couldn't be used because nobody wanted it. Nobody wanted to sharpen it. Couldn't even get someone to take it if I even paid them. But then in 1959, the old axe got a new life. The handle broke, so we replaced the handle, and sometime later, in 1998, the blade needed to be replaced. And just this past year, the blade and the handle were replaced. All in all, over the years, we have replaced three blades, five handles, and other things. But other than that, it's the same old axe. <laughs> From birth to death, medical care and hospitals are important and necessary for everyday life. We can't and we won't go back to the way it which it was. So it is our hope and our prayer and our benediction this day that this facility, this hospital, will be accessible to all, that no one will go without medical care necessary for a meaningful life. May all of us go forth in peace and in hope. God grant us that it be so. Amen. <laughs>